And you mean to say this bloke Biden isn't cognitively delinquent? Have a listen to this, the President of the United States of America. We have to do more than just build back better. To build back, we have to build back better. With regard to Russia, I know it concerns some of you, but I made very clear to Putin that we're not going to seek ex 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 excuse me, escalation. Putting Biden in this position of leading the world's democracies is elder abuse. His incoherence is not new, but it surely can't go on. There will have to be a presidential resignation shortly. Listen to this from only a couple of weeks ago. The only way to spare more pain and more loss, the only way these millstones no longer mark our national mourning, these milestones, I should say, no, no longer mo mark our national mourning. God, help me. And then this. I have never been particularly poor at calculating how to get things done in the United States Senate. So the best way to get something done, if you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to, anyway. This is the leader of the free world. How can we believe any self-respecting world leader will take this bloke seriously? Can you imagine what it's like talking to him live? One wag had it right with a meme that was posted on social media that says it all. Hey, Sleepy Joe, I think it'd be less confusing if you just turn the teleprompter around and let us read it for ourselves. Look, it's easy to laugh. This is very, very serious. For example, today, the plight of migrants, the burden they have placed on US resources, which Trump was addressing, not a word. Not a word. But Biden waxed lyrical about the virtue of raising taxes. All these left-wing clots in the Democratic Party don't understand that if you raise taxes on corporations, then those corporations will move offshore and take American jobs with them. All this before we get to the wider issues of foreign policy. As the Republican Senator Lindsey Graham said this week of Biden, and I quote, he's been a disaster on foreign policy, the border is in chaos, the Iranians are off the map, He's opening up negotiations with the Iranian regime and they haven't done a damn thing to change. Afghanistan's going to fall apart. Russia and China are already pushing him around, unquote. Well, someone of significant note is going to have to tap this bloke on the shoulder and tell him he's got to go. The tragedy is the replacement is Kamala Harris, as big a disaster. Her own party didn't want her in the runoff for the Democratic nomination. She received 2% of the vote. If we don't think the free world is in a mess, we are bad students of the current international situation.